city right now. But we have an awesome artist with us that we're going to be talking about. His name is Jay Universal. Yeah. He is definitely, um, let me tell you, he's making an impact uh, with music. Definitely. I When you first gave me your track, I literally listen to the album from beginning to end for a good 45 minutes Thank and just listen to the whole story and I, how was I stalking your phone? I was like, oh my God, I love this song. <laughs> I love this. I brought Orlando his track. Was telling me, yeah, man. I brought his track to my job. The valet guy stole it from me and he was like, yo, that CD I took from you. I was like, you stole my CD. I don't know why that always happens. Everybody <laughs> comes back to me like, yo, I'm like, it's on iTunes. They're like, but the one you gave me, it got stolen. <laughs> it I don't know what me. to do with it. I don't know. So, Jay Universal, you have been in the game for a minute. Long time, man. Long, Long time. time. I mean, one of the first albums that you dropped was The Jukes. Am I, is that the wrong? <laughs> or is that the first? The, the Jukes. The, the Jukes. There the you go. Jukes. I'm sorry. It had, um, the Jukes. It's all good. Latina. It had um, Tony Ayo featured on it. Um, 50 Cent was, was, was with my man, $8. Shout out to Aaron Freeman. Um, you know, we was working um, some stuff out with a couple of major labels, but... You know, whatever. Yeah, I've been in the game for a little while. Yeah, 2006, I think, was when that dropped. Yeah, so. I dropped that in 2006. Now, when you dropped, what's the difference between the Jooks and you had another one in between that? You had three. Cash rules. Cash rules. Now, yeah. talk to us about the difference and the maturity and the growth that you've experienced between your first album in 2006 to the album that you just released, All I Know. Um, in, two, in 2006, you know... Um, it's, you know, when I come from an era from the 90s rap, you know, I'm an 80s baby, but, you know, I come from that era with the Red Mans, the Method Mans, mm -hmm. the uh, DMXs, the Biggies, the Pox, you know, the Nas's, the Nature, the Puns, you know, so um, you had to be lyrical when you was coming up. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you couldn't, if you weren't lyrical, you better not step up, because if you wasn't saying nothing, all that nursery rhyme crap wasn't working. Mm -hmm. So in 2006, you know, um, I put together a mixtape of like 21 tracks and we just went into the studio, DJ Swag Studio in um, Queens and my man um, Dre um, and 6'2 and all of us, we got together and we was like, you know what, let's just make this rap song. Let's just make these songs and we just put it together and it it was more like, um, a, uh, uh, um, how do you say, um, like a freshman album. You know, oh, like okay. a freshman like mixtape. Like an intro. Like an intro. Like, we was just hungry. We was young. We was just bugging out. We was like, let's put it together. And it had a big impact. You know, it was played for summers. You know, um, Tony Yeo had reached out to me. He hit me on the phone. He was like, yo, you know, you the realest thing, you know, in the Bronx right now. So we was just like, well, he invited us to a lot of shows. We was kicking it. And that was around the time um, 50 just came out. So it was like a real big impact for us. And we was um, politicking with a lot of people at that time. So, yeah, it's a big difference now. It's just us growing. And um, being mature about it and, and handling it in the business point of view and standpoint of it. Now, from your very first album, what would you say was the song that people were just like, yo, that's somebody to look out for? Like, what was the song that really created a big buzz? Anyone in particular? You know what? I can't say because um, there's always a comparison with me. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Everybody always compares me to somebody that's, um, you know, has to be one of the greats. And, um, and with me, like, like I said, I grew up listening to rap since a young kid, you know, Gangstar and all that, and Slick Rick, and KRS, and I just got so in tune with music and rap that I never write any of my lyrics. So it was just, like, easy for me. So every time I got into a track, I just went and did a track and just felt the beat and did it, and I probably have, like, when I was 15 years old, a mixtape that I just freestyled the whole thing. And we was just like, yo, and, and I felt more comfortable because when I used to write with paper... You know, it just felt uncomfortable in the studio, in the booth. So every song that I've done is basically from the heart, and it's basically something that I meant. And if I said it, I meant it. And I don't contradict what I say. That is so great, actually. I, I Very well put. Now, you have an album, All I Know. All I Know, the mixtape, yep. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, a mixtape. You know what? For the listeners, can you, do, can you do a little one-on-one -on -one session for us? Do me a favor. Can you explain the difference between a mixtape and an album? I'm about to test you. All right. Um, a mixtape is something um, that artists put out that's um, basically what they want to do <laughs> with their direction. A mixtape is something that you showcase your talent on. Um, you basically feel free to say whatever you want to do. An album, usually from my, my perspective, an album is basically you putting together a project that's more... 
more of something that's um, more for business. Yeah, it's more business. It's not as personal as a mixtape. In the mixtape, you go, ah, I go over there and I hurt you. And I, you know, or you can say, hey, I love you or whatever you feel in a, in a mixtape. And you could just freestyle and you could just bug out. You could do different tracks. But in an album, it's more like, all right, let's get the business. This is money. This is my money. Them all right? Them samples, <laughs> them samples, right? And, 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 yeah, and you ain't got to worry about samples. You ain't got to worry about paying nobody. You could put it on that piff and you could just get it out there. But when you want your money, you're like, listen, I'm going to drop this album. I ain't Jay Z, and they ain't paying me a million dollars for a million copies or whatever they pay me for a million copies. So I'm gonna have to put out this album, and I'm gonna put it on iTunes or whatever. You could do it on a mixtape too, but preferably you throw it on that piff.com. You know what? It's for the fans, and ultimately the person that you're trying to reach yeah. are the fans. Yeah. So as soon as the sooner you can get that in their hands, the better, because labels could tell you one thing, like no, I don't want you, but the fans could be like, I want you, like I love listening to it, and as long as they're listening, they make you relevant, and it's really about the fans. That's true too, because a lot of times when I'm I'm kicking it with a fan, and I didn't know they were a fan, or I, I there's a lot of people that come up to me, they're like, oh, you're Jay Universal, right? And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, wow, we love your music, and I, you know, it's inspiring, it definitely is. Right now, from your first album to now, what would you say is the difference in the message from your first album to the message you're giving off in All I Know? Uh, the first mixtape. Sorry, mixtape, <laughs> maldita. Sorry. The first mixtape. I mean, it's 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 more of a maturity thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you grow, and, and and time will always tell. That's why you know when you're younger, you're just like, yeah, forget everything. I live for the moment. But when you're older, you start thinking, you're like, okay, I gotta plant these seeds, and if I'm gonna plant these seeds, I gotta make sure they grow. Absolutely. You know, when you're younger, you're just going at everybody's head. You're just going, you're, you're a little more immature. But ignorance is bliss at the same time. And um, it's a big difference. It's a, it's a, it's a big difference. Now, that. recently, you've had some, some attention. I know you did a showcase, if I'm not mistaken, for 50-something. You want to elaborate on that for a little bit? I know you did a performance recently. Am I yeah, I did a performance for the This Is 50, uh, and I was... Um, uh, show um, showcased on the This Is 50 um, showcase and I um, basically got that I'm on This Is 50 if you want to check me out on the J Universal um, and it was it was cool I mean it, you know I I go always with the expectations to to do what I do I go um, there's a lot of times I've been in the studio and, and, and I do features and not to knock anybody, but if you're going to come, you're going to come hard. You shouldn't, you know, I don't knock nobody's hustle or nobody's craft, but if you're going to come half with a craft, then it's not going to work. Half with a craft. I like that. Twitter, hold up. If you don't come <laughs> with a craft, I'm not quoting you, though. I'm going to pretend like it was me that said that. It's like, no. <laughs> All right. But, um, let's hear a song. Which song would you like us to play first? Um, I'm from New York, so I would like Welcome to New York. I know you, you, you. Everybody likes Falling I'm, Out of Grace. I mean, I, I know. love my Falling Out of Grace. I will Every find that in time for us to play it, cause you know, Father dear. Hello, hello. You're back with your girl, Lovely. You were just yeah. listening to my single, Memories, featuring J Universal. That thing is dope. That was dope. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you just saying that because you on it and shit. Well, yeah, of course. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, but let's hear the opinions of Pink and Henny. What you think of it? I liked it. It was dope. I liked it. I didn't really get to listen to your, your part. I heard his part, though. He was <laughs> <laughs> good looking, good looking. <laughs> it's because he was all distracted. Yeah, it's while, a lot going no, on. it's cool. There's a lot going on in 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. We hold it down. We have a lot, a lot of fun here. But, um, you know, we we all got some good projects coming up. I got to say, the reason why the three of you are artists that I couldn't wait to bring on the show, and especially together, is because you all share something that a lot of artists don't share, and that is that you're lyricists. Yeah. The lyrics to your music tell stories, things that people can relate to. It's not just some, hey, what's going on right now? So I could just say something really quick that just repeats itself 20,000 times. Mm -hmm. You know, to follow your music, you have to hear it from the beginning to the end to understand. And you really, you all go, like, into it so good that you really paint a great picture of your story. No matter what the message is, whether it's, you know, hustling or, you know, family or love, you guys paint a great picture. And, you know, there's beauty in your lyrics. And, again, when there's lyrics, that's longevity. Mm. And that's what I like about it. Now, we have another song for J Universal. Okay. Um, this song is one of my favorites, I have to say. It is called Falling Out of Grace, and I know that, you know, you weren't prepared for that one, but I love this song, and you know what? For a female listener, you know, rap, you're very, like, 
Rawr! in your lyrics. Like you, you go for the jugular in your lyrics. Thank you. And mm -hmm. it's great, but not everybody is that hardcore listener. So when I heard the song Falling Out of Grace, the sample or the hook or the girl that you had starting off the song for a singer is what caught my attention and then you spit your lyrics and I'm like holy shit he's good also DJ kept and, and it was done four or five yeah. years ago and you know <laughs> but here's the thing that was done four or five years ago but I'm jamming to it in my car today yeah no I know a lot of so, songs that I have I mean you know I've been I mean you know my time uh, my time is always um, it's not impeccable it's just ahead of his time now you've been mentioning <laughs> DJ Kep you know a few times now is this someone that is on your team yeah definitely DJ Kep is on my team he also did that showcase with me at SOB's um sh yeah definitely shout out to DJ Cap man yeah. he's always supported and always come through you know he just he introduced me to a new monster that I got on the team Varsity Beach shout outs to him too he's a monster oh, too oh we got a caller coming in let's see who loves us thank you for calling 15 minutes of fame radio you're live with your girl lovely and J Universal Pink Fontaine and Henny Puro hello hello Okay, bye. We love you anyway. <laughs> Heavy bags in the building. Nice. All right. So, um, without... What, what was I saying before the call came in? Track. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Dimples Dave, you ready for that track? Uh, Falling Out of Grace. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I lied. It's actually not that song. <laughs> I did a funny. The one that I really want to hear right now is called Armed and Dangerous. Can't nobody can mess with us. Oh, that's Big a new track. Da -da -da. That's we just did that one. Um, can I introduce that track? Yes, of okay. course. Definitely. Uh, we got another call, though. You want to take that call? I don't know. That's the same call. You better say hello this time. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hi, you're live with 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. It's your host, Miss Lovely. Yeah, 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 my bad. That was me. I was driving through a tunnel, so I lost my signal. <laughs> Who are you calling to talk to, hon? I just wanted to call the show. I wanted to shout out my homie Jay Universal. This is G Mac NFO. Oh yeah, you. <laughs> NFO. <laughs> no <laughs> fair <laughs> ones. What up, my man? We chilling, man. We supporting you. We see you, and I just want you to know, man. It, it is what it is. I've known you for years, and I just love seeing all your commotion that's going on, the songs, everything, B. So I couldn't not call. And shout you out, man. Oh, I mean, New York needs this, baby. Right. Shout out to Jersey, but New York needs this, man. You're that dude, and you're coming from the BX. That's right, BX, so BX. To you, shout to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio for even having a platform like you this. You better shout out the girl NFL lovely. For life, Jersey, <laughs> NY. Peace, y'all. You yo, yo, no G yo, G Mac, I see you in the air. No doubt, baby. Bye. I love you anyway. Yeah, Jay? yeah, yeah. It's Jay Universal. You already know. Uh, New York City. Shout outs to um, NJO, my man G Mac, and Live, all the tour, fourth NFO, no fair ones. Shout out to, you know, 15 Minutes of Fame, of course, for having me here. Check me out on J Universal One on um, Instagram, J Universal One, Twitter, J Universal on SoundCloud, and The Real J Universal on Facebook. Also, cop that all I know. I got it's mine. Official. I got mine too. It's actually, I, I had mine, but I got jacked by the valley. So guys. <laughs> Everybody getting jacked for it. Yo, definitely check it out. It's on I iTunes is available. I'm soon going to be putting it on that piff because I'm going to drop a new mixtape. So look out for that. Also working soon with Ian Miller shooting a couple of new videos. Shout out to Ian Miller. He did a couple. He did some high videos for um, Fab and all them other people. Um, Jada kissing them. And um, I'm also sitting down with Antonio Hewitt. So shout out to him. Amber Rose is uh, a brother. So cool ass people. So Yo, shout out to everybody. 15 Minutes of Fame and Lovely for having me. Yo, hey. yeah. Shout out Funk Doc 2 for calling in. <laughs> oh, yeah, Reggie. And also look out for his video that's coming out October 17th, it's October 17th on Vivo. On YouTube, yes, it is. And you can, uh, my website's about to be up. Uh, shout out to uh, everybody that's called in, everybody that's watching right now. Thanks a lot for supporting the, this, uh, this great music, this talent. And also uh, shout out to Providence, my hometown, all the people that, that support. Thanks a lot. And from your girl, Lovely, thank you all uh, for tuning in and listening every Thursday from 6 to 8 o'clock. Shout out to DJ June, Redman. Um, it was a shock to have you guys call. We were really excited. Joe973, we miss you guys. Have a great time in Florida. Get back so that, you know, we could do the Hip Hop and Latin Mix show again together. And right now we're going to close out the show with... All of our songs, you're going to be hearing Pink Fontaine, Jay Universal, Miss Lovely, and I, Henny Poodle on the show. I so. just want to sh shout out to my baby boy, Jacob Tyler. Shout out to Kyra, baby girl. And shout outs to my mom. Shout outs to my brother. Shout out to everybody. Also, um, 
Yeah. That's it. That's Shout it. out to the G&G crew, too. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. So All right. enjoy our music. Oh, you know where to follow birthday. us. <laughs> and that's good. So Dimples Dave, you know what to do, boo. Fifteen minutes of fame.